I, together with my follow-ups, Raul and Ahru, enter Alborot. <laughs> it seems they try to ignore my presence. I don't even know whether it was a good idea to go with them or not. And also, one of them, the black one, reminds me about that wicked creature that attacked me and Lin more aggressively than others. I wouldn't be surprised if that's him. Is it because he's black? I was about to say. <laughs> Racist. Racist, misogynist, drunkard, asshole. <sighs> that's our king. We passed the upper levels of the cave quite quickly. It's surprising, but the ants really ignored our presence. We should thank me. There were some wolves standing near the chasm I had discovered the day before. Most likely, they constructed a weak bridge made of several trunks bent together. I, with a lower level of grace than my escorting wol wolves had, made my way to another side. I should be more careful when going farther. We started going down the oblique surface. It's interesting, maybe the miners working here should have made the cave more comfortable for moving inside it. I saw a strange lighting in front of me. We came to the ground with a high pole decorated with the labels written in an unknown language. That sentence. <laughs> a white ball is hanging above it, but it's not fixed, and it's lighting. What I have already noticed. The round rock reminds me of the ones I took from May, but it is greater than the others many times. Is it magic again? The wolves didn't take any attraction of it and passed by. Punk wolves. Yeah. When we left several more grots. Grots? What? Mm. My followers stood and became very alert. The dark grey wolf, which was bigger than his brother, began speaking. Oh, oh god. Me, isn't it? Uh, I can do these ones if you want. Oh, it's up to you. I'm fine with it. Human being, I hear some vague conscious sounds. What? That quaking the earth. Nope. Continuous. Continuous. I can't. The monster probably lays there. Ooh, I want to be the other wolf then. Okay. He's going to have a Scooby-Doo voice. Yes. <laughs> it's wow. interesting how he manages to speak with such a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you suggest? We must go there. I think he has our target. I have another target. We must go to another safer place where we can find the crystals for me. The black wolf bared his teeth and bent into an attacking pose. Rude. Oh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do a Scooby-Doo voice. For you me. got this. You got this. Human being. Don't you, <laughs> Don't you know how fragile your neck is? Oh, it was good. <laughs> I turned my sword to the grinning animal. Another, the gray one. It relatively looked in, at our direction, but he didn't say a word. I know you cannot do anything with me. There's no Lin, so your dirty attacks won't work. The black wolf was about to attack me when the elder fellow interrupted him. Rule. You forgot about the order. He irritates me. We could find a monster without him anyway. The order was to help this human being. Do you want to have a special talk about this matter with our sister Shan? Special Roar. talks. You're all pestered. <laughs> Ruh oh. <laughs> Ruh -oh. <laughs> the wolf called Ruh -oh, tried to bite my leg, but my sword stopped him. After a second try, he stepped away, spreading aura of hate towards me. Find your crystal, human. No, you human being. I can't read anymore. It's done. But after then, we must learn more about the monster and report it to Shan about it. We kept going farther. Crystal House. In the hall, where we found ourselves, there were several tiny and cute houses. They were all abandoned by the inhabitants, so there was nothing except the pesky ants. Aww. Having passed the rows of, house rows of houses that used to be inhabited, we came to a small lake. It was created by the water flowing from the gap above. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the very gap I had found in the beginning of Alborot. The wolves came to the lake and began lapping the water. It's surprising that these rational beings can behave like wild animals. I've already accustomed that they are not completely animals. Why do you stare at us like that? Do we have anything special? Oh, uh, you're wolves. Well, you do look like Mad Max wolves. Mm. What if this water's not clean enough? It's clean enough. Look, you can clearly see the bottom. I shrugged my shoulders and threw one of the shining rocks into the water. The black wolf 
quickly rushed for it into the water. Huh, I... I just wanted to light up the bottom because there may be something interesting for me. The wolf dove. In a minute, he came to me and he had several crystals with him. Didn't you need that human being? Hurry up, let's go to the monster. Thank you. They won't be enough for me as they are too tiny. Shan won't be pleased if we get stuck here for long. Find them and hurry up. Again, does that sound like Pennywise from the new film? <laughs> the wolf doesn't feel at ease. It seems he feels shy because he dove into the water as a usual dog. Oh, also, have you heard about the it porno they brought out? Oh, God, no. What? He's called Penis Wise. Oh, uh, Jesus. In the uh, gif I saw, he's talking to, like, it's a woman, it's not a girl. Called okay. Georgina instead of Georgie. Okay. And uh, he's saying, she's saying I shouldn't talk to strangers. And he's saying, don't you want your dildo back, Georgina? What the fuck? <laughs> it's so funny. All right, um, another thing to look into. Another thing to watch. Penis wise, got it. <laughs> don't say to Pix that I don't do anything for you guys. <laughs> After some time, we came to the offshoot of the hall. We had a view of a big building that looked like a museum or a tomb with some treasure. But the building is closed by a magical barrier. Apparently, it has the same trick as the one that was used in the gates of Alborot. We won't go further without me. And we need to assure that there is no danger, otherwise she won't go down. <laughs> then we need to handle with our monster. Let's go get him. Well, apparently that is the only way. Anyway, I didn't find the proper crystals for me. But please don't risk too much. We shouldn't attack it. All we need is to learn more about what it looks like. You don't say so. Uh oh. <gasps> We came to the less lit part of the hall, where we saw another way to another part of the mine. I feel the insects. They're bunching up. We have to hurry. Now I began hearing the sound of continuous steps myself. The earth is really quaking because of those steps. What is the monster like there? I saw the gigantic figure against the illuminating mushrooms. Oh. Is that him? Oh. That's not an ant. <laughs> it's a crystal ant. I know about ants. That's not an ant. <laughs> the creature consists of the geological materials and crystals. It radiates a supernatural power. I mean, it kind of looks like a Pokemon. Oh, it's a Reggie Rock. No, it's That's a Reggie it. Ice. That's it. Reggie Ice. Yes. I felt something similar when I met the water spirit. Is that mountainous elemental? Ah, uh, yes. Of course, the lesser known mountainous elemental. Yeah. <laughs> It all changed when the mountain clan attacked. <laughs> uh, the wolves quietly bared their teeth, but I gave them a high sign so that they didn't make any noise. It was dangerous. It's not surprising me now that May's masters couldn't manage it. Probably it may master magic by its nature, as it swallowed the energy of so many magic crystals. Or it was born by them, but there is no difference. Can't we just give this to May? <laughs> oh, yeah. Just here, crystals, take it. Remember how we killed your water elemental? What? Have a crystal one. Hmm. The sparkling lightning was spreading on the surface of the creature's body as the proof of my thoughts. And how is Shen going to manage it? Using her teeth? Using my sword? It's not serious. The black wolf himself couldn't find the right reply to my question. The great amount of ants stood behind us. They're coming to us. They decided to make us get into a deadlock, huh? I seized my sword in my hand. This time I feel the presence of a big species human being. It's dangerous to stay here. Do you mean if they attack us, we won't manage it, right? There are tons of them, so we don't have a chance against them. We didn't even try, our crew. If you insist, Rule, then go ahead. The black wolf already intended to go attacking, but then he laid back his ears and turned back. Oh, I'm not going to become a hero po posthumous. <laughs> These wolves know posthumously. Oh. Who taught them these words? <laughs> Just random books they found off of people they've killed. Hmm, yes. A learned <laughs> wolf. What's a penis wise? <laughs> No one should be showing them this. <laughs> uh, 
I hear the sound of water in one of the side tunnels right behind the giant. There is no reason to step back as we're cut off. We need to run by the monster. I took the elixir given by May out of my sack and gulped. Not his scrotum. What a vile concoction. I tried to make the younger wolf have a gulp of elixir, but he began resisting. Drink if he tells you to do so. Shan told you to listen to him if we're in a critical situation. The wolf swallowed, and there was a light convulsion over its body. The elder wolf drank after the younger one. The acidic ant started com to come out of the bushes. Having noticed us, they began spitting, like llamas. <laughs> but there was a sound of clatter of far bigger insects. The drops of acid flew near me. I could hardly evade them. Let's go! We ran near the insects. It's inevitable, but I run with the wolves approximately at their speed. Oh, unbelievable, sorry. <laughs> The ants began appearing from all over the cave cracks, but I could somehow handle with them using my sword. However, my fellow travelers had to stop in order to take the pesky insects off me. We come closer to the we come closer to the gigantic figure whose body is floated floated by slow lightning. However, it doesn't show any activity. We still have a strong feeling it is observing us with some great interest, but the main thing is that we don't need its attack his attacks now. The wolves outran me for several meters, and the ants bit many blood, <laughs> many blood wounds in my body. <laughs> However, I don't feel any pain or fatigue. I hope that comes thanks to May's elixir and not because there is some poison in saliva of the ants. Having run near the rocky creature, I bent my head and prayed to all the gods whose name I really knew. One of the lightning zigzags separated from the body of the elemental and rushed into my direction. I felt something stung my neck. And I ran by the elemental. The wolves were waiting for me behind that creature. They were also pretty worn away and bitten. And the bunch of slower and more mortal ants is still moving towards the elemental. Hurry up. This way. There is a rocky door behind this place. We need to try to close it. The main wave of the insects rushed the rocky creature. It kept slowly and continuously going, and in the end, several unluckiest ants were crushed. Uh huh. But it won't solve anything. Uh, can we press F to pay respects for the ants? Press F. Eh. Ah. <laughs> Your game just shuts down. Well, it full screened. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> now it's all now it's all messed up. If you press Alt F4, it'll send it back to the normal screen. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Everyone who's watching should try it now. <laughs> we ran into a small hall separated from the biggest part of the cave with a rocky door. The wolves helplessly tried to closing the door using their own forces, but it didn't react. I checked the hall. There was a mine shaft, the toolware, and the boxes with huge crystals. Seems I finally found what May needed. However, the most important thing at the moment is to protect our own skins from the crazy ants. I noticed a lever close to the door and pressed it. After I applied all of my forces using all my body, the lever finally moved. The door closed, squeaking. Okay. Then I was right that this stuff can close the door. Several little ants managed to come in, but they were torn to pieces by my fellows. Another gigantic ant tried to filter into our hall, but the door crushed it apart with a massive weight. The upper part of its body kept moving for a while, till it got compl quiet completely. Ew. There was no sound of strokes. Did the insect decide to hit the ground? Or was there any additional way to get into the hall? I looked around, but I didn't notice any other entrances. The ants won't pass. But we are not able to get out either. I groped for my amulet on my neck. Is it possible that it protected me that time when I had matter with the lightning? If I recollect right, it heated also with May's presence. As long as I know she masters magic, it is quite wise to guess this talisman protects me against any magic. Anyway, I need to keep it. Imagine having an, a ta an amulet that protects you against any magic. Yeah, that'd be pretty amazing. I had a terrible stomach ache, so I began slipping down. Also, my followers fell down to the floor. Seems the side effect of the elixir has finally come. A stomach ache. Mm. I woke up with a terrible headache that was even worse than the one on the worst days of headache. <laughs> that is such a poor sentence. Yep. I woke up with a terrible headache that was even worse than the one on the worst days of my headache after my drinking parties. <laughs> the acid was pinching my body, and there was some crewer on the clothes however there were no wounds or scratches Cruel. i tried to wake the wolves up 
my head. <laughs> That's all he says to them, just like shaking them. My head, my head. After I tugged, Aru, I felt thirsty. I came to the well and scooped some water. It's interesting how much time we were laying here. Having greased myself, I thought about further steps. Do you hear anything behind that wall? The dark grey wolf pricked up his ears. It seems his hearing is better than the younger wolf has. A couple of small ants are going near the entrance. The rumble of giant is sounding in the far part of that hall. Probably the big ants hit the ground and I don't hear them. So before we go out, I would like to check something as long as we're safe here. Besides, there is a probability that the ants are not too smart to wait for us near the entrance for years. I do agree with you, but we still mustn't stay here longer as our sister Shan is waiting for us. I looked at the crystals in the boxes and came to conclusion I won't be able to take any of them with me. Apparently, I will have to turn back here with me. Examine the toolware mechanisms, dive into the well, or examine the crystals. Hmm. 